right, everybody. Welcome to Unglue Modeler. On this episode, we're gonna do something a little different. Not a bush plane. So we have our first <laughs> little boat. We're hanging out up in Las Vegas today. We were over at the hobby shop and yep. we went to Friendly Hobbies. So it's a pretty cool hobby shop. So if you live in the Vegas area and you haven't been to Friendly Hobbies, they got tons of cool stuff. Airplanes, monster trucks. They got the all the tracks of stuff, the Arma vehicles, they got boats. It's really cool. So yeah. go over to Friendly Hobbies. We're gonna play, be playing with this little jet boat today for our pool. It's a little nine inch pro boat, the Sprint Jet nine inch. Uh, it comes with a lithium battery. It is a brushed motor. We got the blue one. There's two colors. So silver and blue, and supposedly everything's in the box here. We got our dogs running around, so you might see the dogs popping in and out. You can see we gotta put the decals on, it has a shark's mouth. So that pretty looks cool. awesome. Yeah, got little gauges and stuff. These jet drive boats are, are good if you have little kids or pool noodles or rafts, or you just don't wanna cut your finger because there's no spinning parts on the outside of the boat. Yeah, it's a cool little kit. They're, they're not much money, depending on where you go. You're gonna get this this whole setup for around 60, 70 bucks. So very affordable. Comes with the AAA batteries yep. for the, uh, the transmitter. Mm -hmm. Here's the lithium battery. Looks like a little, little two cell, 20C, 600 milliamp, EC3 connector. When I get to my solder station, I'm gonna change these out for XT30s. This will work for now. And here's the actual charger. So it is a USB style charger. So you can plug this into your computer as long as it puts out at least one amp. You need at least one amp of output, which most of the block chargers do that have the USBs. And this is kind of a cool feature. I've actually never seen this before. So the transmitter comes in two pieces. They make it like this so it's easy to transport around. That's pretty cool. Like you can put it in yeah. your pocket or your backpack. Real easy to get around. You'll see there's two contacts. All you gotta do, slide it together. And you know, you might, <laughs> there's a, there's our dog Oliver. He hear, he's hearing the other dogs. Well, there you go. <laughs> he's not happy. So anyway, uh, you might be saying, "Wow, that is a tiny boat." But that's what I wanted. We wanted a little, very small jet boat for the pool. For the pool. This is actually a pretty nice little trainer. We've got a foam steering wheel. I love the foam steering Here. wheels. I hate when they're just hard plastic. Oh yeah. So oh. so far, this is really cool. So we have steering trim throttle trim there's the on off switch reverse um there are dual rates on here and it tells you how to adjust it in the um mm -hmm. the manual so you, you what can, has a, re a reverse well that's in case the steering servo is reversed oh you just, okay you can reverse the channels so here's the boat guys it's pretty simple yeah we don't have to really put anything together <laughs> we got the stand so we gotta put the decals on we gotta get the shark's mouth so we got a little roll bar <laughs> two, little guys. two little guys so me being me I'm gonna paint the roll bars black and I, I, I just can't handle it. I love little scale details. So we're gonna put the stickers on. They got little gauges here, but it's got some decent weight to it. Like yeah. you can you can feel that it's- Oh yeah. Yeah, so that, yeah. it's light, but it's not like something you'd expect to be this small. Like you'd expect it to be lighter, like something you buy at Walmart or something. It's got some decent weight. Here's the jet drive, obviously, and the servo. Okay. Or sorry, not the jet drive, but the actual uh, the nozzle, I should mm. say. So pretty cool. So far, so good. Z bends. Don't expect ball links on a, <laughs> on a sixty, seventy dollar model. This little lever is what holds the battery down. Okay. You just slide down. it over the battery. Uh -huh. And there's the motor. It is an in runner motor, so it means the outside of the can stays stationary, like on an airplane. Mm -hmm. For uh, a lot of helicopters, the outside of the motor spins. That's called an outrunner. This is an inrunner because on a boat, you want a very little bit of rotating mass because remember a boat is floating in water. So if you have a lot of rotating mass, it's gonna twist the hull. There's an on off switch there. I don't know if you saw it. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's got a rubber a bumper. So oh. a silicone nose Oh yeah, so you can't point. smack anything. Yeah, it's actually soft silicone. That's cool. And here's the intake. So that's where the jet drive sucks all the water in. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you can see, perfectly smooth bottom. There's no spinning parts on the outside. So safe for kids, safe for pools. I don't know, maybe our dogs will chase it around. Uh, they've never seen a boat before. So what do you think? Ollie, what are you gonna do? Yeah, he doesn't care. You're gonna chase the boat? I'm just like, no, terrified. So yeah, let's get this all charged up with the stickers on. It's gonna be awesome. 
All right, so we just finished the unboxing. We got it all, all the battery all charged up. I think it took about an hour. While the battery was charging, we put the stickers on. This thing is awesome. <laughs> yeah. It totally reminds me of like a, like a, a Yamaha dirt bike, like a YZ or a WR. I like my Yamaha dirt bikes, but yeah, this thing is just so cool. So we got the battery plugged in, everything's working. I just uh, did a quick test with the transmitter. Let's put our little top hatch back on. Mm -hmm. You can see our, our Boston over there. We can see all Oh, the Ollie. Let's hey, buddy. see how he does with a boat. He's never seen a boat. <laughs> Steering works. And you can see the jet nozzle. See? Mm-hmm. All right, let's uh, oh, yeah. do cool. So jet boats, you can see, turn so quick. <laughs> That's awesome. So it's a fun little, just a pool toy. I can already tell I gotta get used to how sensitive the steering is. You really gotta. This thing's cool. So Ollie does not know what it is. At least he's not barking. Well, it's pretty quiet. So the steering is really sensitive. It's a little boat with a jet nozzle. You can do like cool little turns like that. But you gotta be really sensitive. But this is a perfect speed, perfect speed for the a pool. That's kind of what it's for. Like I said, we'll probably mod it and maybe put a brushless motor in it. This thing turns on a dime. But well, this is great for a pool because look how quick it turns. Like you just. <laughs> Now he's starting to... He wants to play with it. Ollie. Oop. Oh, it does have reverse, I forgot. Let's see how it works. Perfect speed for a pool. Oh, it looks a lot like a lot of fun. Yeah, look at it. What do you think, Ollie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it does have dual rates, so you can actually adjust the steering sensitivity. So if you like it to do the quick donuts and stuff, that's how it comes. But you can actually adjust it on here and um, just make it so it turns real gentle. But if you get good at it and you just lightly turn the wheel, you don't really need the dual. Yeah, it's really sensitive. Yeah, very sensitive. So they say you get about seven, maybe 10 minutes of battery life. It's only a 600 milliamp battery. So you could put like a, probably put like an 800 or 850 in there. You don't want to get too big because then the boat, you know, it starts weighing too much. Actually, let's do a quick test, see how much water is in there, if any. No, oh, very little. Barely. Well, actually that wow. might've been when you opened it. Barely any guys. I think I see like one drop of water. So that's actually really cool. Might even have been when you opened it and just fell in. Yeah, it might have so. been when I just opened it actually. Like nice. Um So anyway, what we want to try right now is the self-writing feature. When it's upside down, they say give it a quick reverse blast because you're trying to you're trying to get the motor to torque it. Mm -hmm. So you want the motor to kind of roll it one way and then you floor it the other way and it should roll over. So let's try this. Uh oh, it's <laughs> You can do it, little guy. You gotta really have a, a rhythm going here. Wow. Well, you gotta time the, the rocking. So this is the hard part. So this wasn't its strong feature. A lot of people say it doesn't really work or you gotta really work at it. By then you could have just swung out, swung out and got it. Well, that didn't work. Yeah. So, so that was... The self-writing feature, I will say it does not work. Yeah, and then, and then here we go. So that's full throttle now. And it says when you have a degradation of power. The batteries. To stop. Yeah. You're going to kill the light bulb. So we're going to bring it in. And that's it. So doing that forward, forward, backward, forward, backward. Yeah. That's, that's draining the battery hard. You're also working. Let's, because uh, the motor. Oh, I had it upside down. The motor is probably really hot right oh. now. So let's see how hot that got. Yeah, it's hot. Oh, is it? Let me, let me touch Yeah, so it. Oh yeah, oh, so sorry. most boats have water cooling, a water cooling jacket. This one being, you know, a very cheap boat. It's not. Not cheap, inexpensive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's 
you know, it's a pool toy, so there's not going to be water jackets or anything. Otherwise, it's going to drive the cost up. And, but anyway, so yeah, so I think we got about maybe five, six minutes of solid running, and then we probably would have gotten a little longer if we didn't play with the reverse for yeah. that long. Uh, but overall, I think this is a really fun boat. Um, it's pretty inexpensive, and there's two color schemes, so you can race them. There's another, there's one, a gray one, and yeah. it has the shark. I like how sensitive and reactive yeah, it is. Yeah, it's fun. So. Yeah, um, it's quiet. So we'll turn this off. We got a little switch here. Is that that rubber? Yeah, I like it. What do you think, Mary? You like oh, it? Yeah, yeah I had a cool. lot of fun. We gotta get another one so we can race. Yeah, I don't think Ollie likes it, but we don't care about him. So. No, we do. <laughs> yeah. Don't say that. He's over there waiting for the boat to come back. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll probably do another boat in the future. I want to get a bigger boat too. But uh, this is uh, kind of our introduction to boats. But yeah, until next time. Thanks for watching.